All right, uh, to the Braves, because I found this interesting. I found this interesting. Um, Terry McGurk and company um, and, and Alex Anthopoulos and uh, Brian Snicker met with the media via Zoom, and they said something that was, I thought was very interesting, and I think it's got Braves fans leaning in the wrong direction about one thing. Um, Terry McGurk, again, who's the, the, the Braves president, talked about um, being in the top five in payroll, right? Uh, McGurk said, quote, my goal now is to get to be a top five payroll team. And automatically, <coughs> everybody, <laughs> everybody is sitting there thinking, oh, well, if we're going to do that, we must be re-signing Dansby Swanson. Folks, you got to start thinking straight here. Um, if I hear top five payroll team, I don't hear Dansby Swanson. You know what I hear? Jacob DeGrom. That's what I hear. I hear a rotation of DeGrom, Freed, Strider, Wright, and Charlie Morton. That's what I hear. And, and I would challenge any team in baseball to find a better starting five. That is ace, ace, ace level stuff. And then Wright and Morton. And Wright is a pretty darn near good number two starter. And in reality, he's your number four on this staff. That's what I hear. I don't hear Dansby Swanson. Objectively, would you rather have Jacob DeGrom or Dansby Swanson? Whoa. Uh, yeah, that's a Jacob DeGrom kind of. For me, that's DeGrom, 100%. Team hits enough home runs. You, you, you could pay Vaughn Grissom next to nothing and let him play short. And I don't care if the production drops off. I'm not saying Vaughn Grissom's as good as Dansby Swanson. Dansby Swanson is top five shortstop in this league. Fine. Jacob DeGrom is one of the top five pitchers in this league. Would you rather have the better pitching or the better shortstop? Me, I'll take the better starting pitching. Always. Always. I mean... Do the Braves have a lot of confidence in Von Grissom? Yeah, should they? Absolutely. Do they think he would be a, a one-for-one -one replacement for Dansby? No, I don't think they think that. I just think the upgraded starting pitching is a lot, lot better. You know, I mean, that's that's really what it boils down to. So, you know, uh, when when I hear top five payroll, I hear you're going after the biggest names out there. That's what I hear. Now, is there a world where they could get both of them. Sure. Sure. But uh, that, that takes you to top five. That takes you like top two. Because the Braves payroll right now is at like $180 million. Uh, Ed, 25 27 for Dansby. That puts you at, you know, right over 205 And then Jake DeGrom's going to be at 230 you're, the, you're like the highest payroll in the league. 230 240 you're at the highest payroll in the league. I don't think they're going to go there. I think you get one. We'll see. To me, that's really, really interesting. And, and it's a, it's a, <laughs> it's an interesting thought process. Uh, you know, and the Braves have this, this sort of cash cow with the battery and Terry McGurk even talked about it. You know, they got this great place to come watch a baseball game, you know, and, and this sort of model, I think a lot of other teams are going to do. Listen, I grew up a Yankees fan, Yan you know, going to Yankee stadium as a kid was great. There was one bar next to it, and it was in a bad neighborhood in the Bronx. Now, they built up the neighborhood around Yankee Stadium now to make it, make it a little bit nicer and a little bit more amenable, and there are other bars around it. But there's nothing better than being able, to, being able to go out to a Braves game. You know, you can have dinner somewhere, have a couple of drinks, walk across with your kids. You know, you know you're in a safe area the whole time. Nothing bad's going to happen. You're not going to get carjacked or anything like that. Like, it's just a really amazing way to go watch a baseball game. And so they have this, this cycle of the battery money coming in. Uh, attendance keeps going up, you know, money, money, money going through the battery and, and the Braves get all of it. I mean, it's, you know, it's a cash cow. They have an advantage over a lot of other teams in the, uh, in major league baseball. And the crazy part is, is they don't even own their own regional sports network. The Yankees do the Cardinals own theirs. Um, there's a couple of other one, other teams out there who own their own television network. The Orioles do, along with, well, the Nationals don't get, the Nationals aren't on it, but the Orioles own Mass in the Mid-Atlantic Sports Network. Those are things that churn out money for you. 
They get an extra stream of revenue by owning a television station. So uh, Braves have their, their own stream of revenue from the battery. It's kind of like the same thing. Well, I want to remind you guys um, to check out Locked on Falcons. Why? My buddy Aaron Freeman does a fantastic job every single day, and we appreciate you guys making Locked on Falcons. Your first listen every single day during football season, but make sure you check out key NFL predictions every Friday at Locked On NFL. Locked On's local experts give you the inside scoop on the five biggest games of the NFL weekend, including Sunday and Monday night football, plus betting advice from the field's leading betting experts. Bet online. Follow NFL key predictions every Friday at Locked On NFL, available on the Odyssey app, YouTube, and wherever you get your podcasts. That'll do it for us here today on this Tuesday. Back tomorrow for a Wednesday edition. Again, don't forget to check us out on Roku TV. Subscribe to the YouTube channel. Give a thumbs up to all the content. We're free on YouTube. Wherever you get your podcast, you search Locked On Sports Atlanta. Check out all the shows on the Locked On Sports Atlanta network. This is A to Z. You guys have a wonderful Tuesday. Don't take any crap from anybody. See you.